in just a little short while, not only are you going to be unrecognizable to your friends, your family, your loved ones, your haters, your frenemies, your exes, but you are also going to be totally unrecognizable to yourself. Now, I hope you guys are excited because there are major changes sweeping over the entire planet. And of course, this means individual changes for your own life. These are your predictions for the next 30 days. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into these 10 predictions that will be taking place over the next 30 days. Now, we're going to start off with the, the light pink predictions here, but over on the Patreon, we're going to move into these dark pink, okay? These are kind of, you know, surface level. This is good news. We got some things to watch out for, but in these predictions, we get a little bit deeper. So make sure you guys click the link in the description box to go over to the extended and get the rest of the predictions. But for now, let's get started. The very first prediction I have for you guys is that somebody from your past will be re-entering your life only to discover you are not the same person that they left behind or that you guys were separated from each other. You're not the same person when they came back. Now, how does this work? Okay. So the word that I got to go with it was time capsule, right? So that is a, a historic cache of goods or information usually intended as a deliberate method of communication with future people. Now, what is so um, important about that? History. So what does this mean? So I got the example of bell bottoms from the 70s. Let's say I got a time capsule. I put it in a time capsule. I'm trying to keep this history intact. And then in 2025, I want to take those bell bottoms from the 70s out of the time capsule. And I expect that they will be the same exact bell bottoms, right? So someone put you in a time capsule, maybe put you on a shelf, left you in the past, whatever the case may be. But as they re-enter your life in the next 30 days, they will expect to pull you out of the time capsule and you're supposed to be the same exact bell bottoms. But surprise, growth. Growth happened. So somebody's going to be re-entering your life who put you in a time capsule and they're going to expect that you are going to be the same person. Now, um, the thing that is interesting about this is that it will redirect them. What does that mean? They were coming into your life for a specific reason. Maybe they wanted something. Maybe they wanted to use you. For some of you guys, this is someone who maybe used you for sex. Let's be real. This is somebody who used you for money. This is somebody who used you because you had connections or you had this. There was something about you that this person could use very well. And in their mind, they said, I'm going to put this on a shelf. I'm going to put them in a time capsule. And I'm going to come back for what? Remember that part about the future? I'm going to go back to this thing in the future. So for some of you all, that's another uh, prediction or something else that I'm picking up. Um, this person never intended to leave you alone forever. They just wanted to put you in a time capsule and come back to you in the future. Except you're supposed to be the same person, right? Imagine you put the bell bottoms in and then you come back in 2025. It's a new millennium pair of jeans. It's like, wait a minute, what happened to my bell bottoms, right? They don't expect that it's going to be different, but you're different. You're definitely different. So this prediction, somebody from your past will be moseying back in, but they will really have to redirect themselves because they're going to discover the way I used to use you, the way I used to talk to you, the way that I didn't have respect for you. All of that is going to shift and it's not going to be anything you say. It's not going to be anything you do. It's going to be your aura and it's going to be your vibe that let this person know that person from the past and the person I am today, we are not the same. To all of the singles, this is for you. Shocking. Guess what? Somebody's going to ask you out. They're not going to say, oh, well, can you, do, can you come over? It ain't going to be no come over. It ain't going to be no let's just quick hook up. Someone is going to ask you on a date. Period. Okay? An actual physical date. Now, this is the thing. The thing that I got to go up with, with this, like the energy to describe it, good candidates, okay? So whether you're male or female, I want you to take the position right now. You are the boss. You are the CEO of a company because you're the CEO of your life, right? And there are all these different resumes laid out on the table before you. These are good candidates for the job. Surprise, surprise. There are several different types of people who you might match well with. Guess what? 
You're only going to have to choose one eventually, okay? Um, so again, that part about the resumes. So just because someone may ask you out, it doesn't mean they're the only good fit. And just because, you know, you got a bunch of good candidates and you don't see what you're looking for, doesn't mean you're not going to find it, okay? Because there are, again, a pile of resumes, something like that. But I don't think it's the resume part that's coming through as clearly as the good candidates. Um, and that's what I got here, surrounded by good candidates. A lot of you guys have been surrounded by garbage, Let's just be real. A lot of y'all have been surrounded by garbage, low vibrational people of the opposite sex or the same sex, whichever you prefer. But there has been a lot of low vibrational energy. But guess what? The whole energy that's sweeping over right now is really like awakening people and it's really making people stand up. I'm seeing so many people rise up. Right. And so this in your life is producing more good candidates. And it might not just be for love and romance. This could also be for like friendships, partnerships, all that kind of stuff is coming into play. OK, but the key word is good candidates. Now, also, you're being told to keep an open mind. And I also got some of y'all need to reevaluate your deal breakers. And I'm going to just tell you, don't be mad at me. I'm going to tell you what I got. Some of them are ridiculous. What does this mean? So if he don't have this or if she don't have that, I'm done. I ain't even looking at him twice, okay? Um, it, it just depends on what it is for you. So um, this is the last prediction. This is interesting. Some of you guys are going to get asked on this date. You might go on this date. And it's going to be something about the person's hands that are either going to be something you really, really like or something you really, really can't stand. Now, I know I just said some of these deal breakers are ridiculous, but some of you guys have these nicks and ticks and tweaks and weeks or whatever, where if you see something, it's just be like, I can't unsee it and I can't stop seeing it. Um, if, if they have something on their face and, and I can't not look at it or not mention it, then, you know, it might turn me off forever. So I don't know. It's going to be up to you to decide. But the thing about it is good candidates. Okay. Welcome. You, you must have done something. You must have raised your vibration because now suddenly you're going to be surrounded by the good candidates. Okay. All right, y'all. This next one is very, very exciting. So an influential person or influential people will reach out to you. So this is actually a form of communication. Okay. Now you probably didn't see this coming. And you weren't even aware that this person was around you energetically, okay? So your energetic surroundings, right? You will be or you would be very surprised at, at who's in your energetic surroundings, okay? Now, it's not so much as the influential people are going to be reaching out to you. You really have to understand why, right? So it's your vibration, Sometimes, like a lot of people are we're going up the scale, right? Sometimes you reach the peak or the vibration of that influential person. Can you believe sometimes you sit there and you think like Diddy or you actually carry the vibration that Diddy carried, right? Um, but what happens? Sometimes your vibration goes back down. So it's like you reach that vibration, but then it goes back down. Because we're just learning. We're just learning. We're getting there. We're going higher, 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 right? But what is it that brings that vibration back down? So I'm thinking like Diddy. I feel like Diddy. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm back down. Oh, I'm depressed. Oh, I'm sad. Where does that come from? Okay? I got two things. Up and down in faith and back and forth with unworthiness. So those are two things that you're going to have to clean up in order to stay on the vibration of the influential person or people so you can keep them around that field, okay, that energetic field, okay? I don't know who that's for, but it's like sometimes you go back and forth with your vibration, and if you could just stay there, then you might be able to, I guess, merge into that world full-time because some of y'all are part-time ascension and then part-time depression, but you got to stay there, okay? Now, this all leads to the very next prediction, how are you going to stop going up and down in faith? How are you going to stop going back and forth in unworthiness? Well, I'll tell you. All right, guys. So in the next 30 days, you are going to do something that totally terrifies you, but you succeed. Okay? You're going to stop doubting yourself. Period. Now, these are, it's kind of like these were two different things that I got, but I feel like they work hand in hand as well as with that last prediction, okay? You're going to stop going back and forth 
in faith, up and down, unworthiness, whatever I told you before, and you're going to stay there. You're going to become so rooted and so solid in who you are that it doesn't matter who comes around. It doesn't matter who doesn't like you. It doesn't matter who does like you. You are rooted and solid in who you are. Now, your faith and your confidence is going to soar. That's kind of like going to be a domino effect because once your confidence is here, it's going to cause for you to do things that you probably wouldn't have done before. Okay. Now you're going to bust through so many illusions of fear and you're going to be so sure of who you are that again, you're going to try things that you've never tried before, but it's like, once you touch it, you succeed at it. Your, I guess your powers of manifestation are heightening and you know that whole everything you touch turns to gold or everything you touch turns to platinum. Okay, you're moving to that vibe. Keep it up. Keep touching stuff. Keep creating gold. Okay. Now you're going to see the other side of fear and you're going to laugh at yourself. Then you go cry because you're going to be like, man, I should have did this a whole lot sooner. What was I afraid of? Why I waste all this time? Okay. So this is what's about to happen. And if you're not already there, then you need to start working on it and taking these steps. I don't want to see anybody get left behind because of the illusion of fear, which means what you're thinking is going to happen is not going to happen. And you're going to miss it over something that's not going to happen. Okay. If I walk into the store and I try to get the ice cream, what if I trip and fall and embarrass myself? But what if you walk into the store and you actually get the ice cream and go, mm, delicious. You see, you got to think about what you want to happen and not all the terrible things that could. Anyway, I say that to say this in the next 30 days, this does not need to be some little small mediocre thing. I'm going to need for you to get up and follow a dream. Okay. I'm going to need for you to get up and do something that scares the living crap out of you. And it may even scare other people around you. But I'm going to need for you to do it anyway. Because I'm trying to tell you that on the other side of fear is your success. It is what you want to see. Okay? Okay, you guys. So in the next 30 days, um, something that may happen to you is that you are going to make a clear-cut decision. There is one particular choice that you have to make. And you simply do not know. Do I go left? Do I go right? Is it yes? Is it no? In the next 30 days, you are going to receive a crystal clear answer. Not only are you going to receive a crystal clear answer, you are going to receive the relief that comes along with not questioning it no more. Okay? So I got, you've been toying, you've been yearning, you've been going back and forth. But you're about to get a clear yes or no, and you'll feel very relieved about the decision. Now, these are the ways that it can happen. Number one, broad answer, you can have a dream. Now, just because we have dreams, sometimes it's just our subconscious. It could be our fears playing out. But in this particular case, when it comes to this one major decision, you are going to know, okay, boom, that's my answer. That dream came specifically to give me an answer to this question. Okay. The second way that it can happen is an omen. Some of y'all been wondering about something. Pay attention to the omens. Okay. I had a man who was telling me that he pulled up to his girlfriend's parents' house. Two birds got into a fight and broke each other's neck and fell on the hood of his car and died right there. And then of course he marries the girl and it's a disaster divorce. So that omen, those birds fighting, love birds fighting, and then dad right there on the hood of his car. Yeah, that was his hip, that was his answer right there, right? So some of y'all, and I'm not saying it's gonna be that dramatic. Please don't think it's gonna be that dramatic. But there's gonna be something that happens, and you're gonna know that you know, like pow, there it is. Okay. Now, the third way that it can happen, I got a divine intervention, right? Another party. And I don't mean like, oh, I'm telling you this is going to be your answer. No, I, don't, I don't mean that. What I mean is that there will be some type of way that maybe let's say someone else is involved, right, with this decision you have to make. They'll make a decision that will make your decision if that makes sense, okay? I wonder, should we break up? Should we break up? And then they come to you, hey, yeah, I think we should break up. It's like, oh, thank God, I was wondering, you know? And it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be romance. It could be a work situation. Like, should I leave this job? Should I stay? Should I start that business? Should I not? Should I move to that state? Should I stay here? You know, it's going to be a clear 
clear decision. And I'm also getting too that this is like a like a game changing decision. Like either way it go, it's like it's gonna change the game. The other thing I got that is that once you make this decision, the floodgates will open. So whether it's no and you close a, a door or you go somewhere else, or whether it's a yes and the door opens and you walk straight through, it's gonna be a game changer and it's gonna pave the way open for decision after decision after decision after decision. It's like once you make this one decision. It's going to open the floodgates and you are literally going to make all the everything you need. And that's what I got here too. Uh, all of your plans will fall into place. But it's like this one plan is like directional. And it's like, well, if this is the yes, then this is my plan. And you got it all figured out. But if the answer is no, then this is my plan. And I got it all figured out. Y'all, I'm literally seeing a split. Game changing energy. Life changing energy. Okay, so be ready, be open, be vigilant because you're about to get a clear cut answer. So that is what I get for you guys as far as these five predictions go. Head on over to the Patreon, click the link in the description box and make sure that you guys get over there so you can get the rest of these tips and be prepared for what is happening in the next 30 days. Also, make sure you guys get excited, get excited because I am dropping that music video and I'm so excited. So if you're watching this video before the music video drops, just get excited because it's coming out. Some of you all may be watching this video and the music video already dropped. So if that's the case, click the link in the description box, check out that music video. Focus, baby. All right, so again, we're going over to the Patreon these are the predictions for the next 30 days thank you guys so much for all of your likes your subscribes your shares i appreciate you all so much and i'll see you guys in your next video